Howdy y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing some crappie fishing, but first we gotta find these crappie houses, trees, brush piles, or even some artificial places that people have left out here on the lake. So we're gonna start today's video by using our fish finder to find some of these houses. Uh, I recommend having a unit that has side imaging and down imaging. The side imaging will open up your sides so you kind of have side views of what's on the bottom. And this will save you a lot of time in finding these brush piles. The down imaging is for when you locate those brush piles. You can either use a buoy uh, and go over them and mark it with a buoy. Make sure you don't throw the buoy on top of your, your fishing area that you plan on fishing. Or you can use waypoints and the last thing you can use is a live scope or some kind of live imaging uh, just to get you in the vicinity of that brush pile. I personally like to use my live scope and I know a few places on this lake where those fish are, but we are gonna go over the fish finders capabilities. I'm gonna show you guys how to identify some of these trees and brush piles using your sign imaging and your down imaging. Without any further ado, let's get right to it. So here I have my Lowrance Elite 9 Ti. Pretty good size screen, so you can really run the down imaging and the side imaging side by side. And I, right now I'm going probably three miles an hour, maybe a little less, heading into the wind. I'm keeping an eye on both my side and down imaging, and I'm looking for long dark streaks on my, down, my side imaging here. And that's gonna identify well, a tree or brush pile. I'm looking mostly for trees. This lake is known for trees. So I'm gonna speed things up just a tad. And we're gonna point out some pieces of structure along the way. So there's some fish on the bottom. And over here, you can see on the left side, that's actually a grass line. I know that because, well, I just went by it. But uh, you can notice these things uh, after some experience. Uh, that looks like a little a little uh, stick up or brush ball. Could be just a little school of small fish. But I'm out here. I have my side imaging 60 feet out. I don't really like to go much more than that, mainly because I don't feel like it's very accurate. And you can kind of see where the image is starting to get a little weak. I'm running 455 because I'm not looking for detail. I am mostly looking for uh, actual items. So anything that catches my eye, I will be uh, putting a waypoint on here. Now, if you don't have the capability of doing waypoints, uh, you can always try to estimate how far it is to the left or right, and then turn back around and use your buoy. Um, and when you turn back around, you're going to want to use your down imaging uh, to scan over it and actually see if there's any fish on it. So I have a couple of trees I know are over here on the left side. Uh, so once we get to them, I'll point them out. And uh, so you guys can kind of see what trees are gonna look like on side imaging and even down imaging. I do have my down imaging locked in at 40 feet. That way I kind of can identify what fish look like. Um, so I know what size of fish that I'm looking for. So if I see a small fish, I know it's a small fish, and a large fish, I know it's a large fish. I highly recommend you do that as well, uh, so you can get used to the size of fish. So when you scan over a piece of structure and you catch some fish off of it, you remember kind of what those fish sizes were. So next time you can say, oh, those are a bunch of little guys, that's not worth fishing. All right, we're coming up on one for sure, because I know it's there, because it is actually marked by a no wake buoy that's accidentally hung on it. So, okay, we should be going by it right about now. You can faintly see the tree here. You can faintly see it. Uh, it's not a very big tree. Let's put it that way. Normally, I would mark it and then I'd, I would go back and look at it, but I know where that tree is. We're going to continue on and stay out of this grass 
Yeah, we wandered a little too far. I do recommend going into the wind. It's easier to control your speed that way. When you're scanning, obviously you don't always get that option, but when you're scanning around, going into the wind is a little bit more beneficial for you. You still got our grass edge over here. So I like to keep that in sight, you know, just kind of identify where I'm at and get some humps. And you got some stuff down here on the bottom. It's probably small schools of bait fish, which good to target, but we're looking for crappie. Oh, well, there's a brush pile. We went right over it. You can see it on the side imaging here. You also see it on the down imaging. Definitely look like, looks like there's some fish on there. It looks like some small, smaller fish, small crappie. Uh, we'll have to check that out here in a little bit. I believe I have that one marked already, so it's not too big of a deal. Most of these I already have marked. Looks like there's a, a, a log that's laying on the bottom there over here. Over here in the far distance, you can see that there's some a school of fish on the bottom. You can see this ledge here, a real dark spot. That's a short ledge. So it's a really sharp drop off that it can't scan. Something interesting. Uh, it's probably more interesting for bass fishing than crappie fishing. Oh, there's some schools of bait as we get out here a little deeper. Oh, there's another one. I didn't, I'm not trying to drive over these. Well, here's another one full of fish. You can see that for sure. So that's kind of how I identify. Oh, you can see right there, there's one that's off screen. You can see the shadow of this tree. There is a tree there. So if I was going to mark it, you're going to mark it at the base of the shadow. That's where the tree actually is. So it's a little tip for me. Um, mark it there right about there and uh there's a tree right there well that's how i go about finding some of these brush piles uh really just interesting to see see what we can find out here uh days that are you know kind of terrible for fishing and i'm not catching many fish i will spend you know an hour or two exploring my lake just trying it out seeing new things and seeing i can find some new and interesting areas to fish well, without any further ado, let's uh, let's get out here and actually fish some. I'm excited to catch some crappie today, so y'all stay tuned and let's go slice some crappie. Alrighty. Now I was on a brush pile. It's like a small tree. Let's see if we get back on it. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of spinner rods on the front of my deck, which is not typically normal. At least of me. Kind of show you what I'm starting off with. Doesn't mean that it's going to be working today, but I got this uh, chartreuse and chartreuse and white crappie jig is about three inches long on an eighth ounce head. Let's see how that works. So I'm on live scope here. I'm going to turn it a little bit. You can see that there's a whole bunch of crappie at the base of the tree, and you can see it. A little better when I turn, the tree's gone. And that's all the crappie that are on it. And you can see the tree there. And now you see the crappie. So you got a little bit of scooting up to do there. They're a little out a little bit. So I'm gonna use you know, the spot lock thing and kind of get me a little closer. And we're gonna try to vertical jig these guys a little bit. Okay, let's vertical jig it for a minute. Got him. Oh man, that's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Fishing for like 15 seconds. Oh man, it's a white bass. That's not a crappie. You're sure a white bass. What are you doing over there? Hanging out with all the crappies. I won't say no to, oh, he's got a, a hook in his, his, his bow hole. Hmm. I'm going to 
go off screen and see if I can help this guy. Well, we were really successful in getting this hook out of this fish. I don't know if you guys can see, but there was the hook. And, you know, he's having minimal issues. So we're gonna let him go. I think he's gonna be plenty healthy. So, there you go, buddy. There you go, okay. Hey, it's always nice when you can help out a fish. So, fish rescue, let's put it on the, put it on the docket for the day. Well, we were successfully able to save that fish. It's kind of nice. Oh, we're at chartreuse and white so far, one fish. Was well, not a crappie though, so. See if we can make it a crappie this time. Got him. Oh, that's just a little crappy. A little bitty guy. I got that one. That one's a little better. That one's a little better. I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, he's a tiny little guy. He just had more fight in him. That was the big difference. All right, guys, so the trees that are shallower aren't producing that big of fish. So I'm gonna tie a new leader on, get a new jig, and then we're gonna go out deeper. Sadly, that's probably where more of the yahoos are and they're gonna wake me out a lot because, well, that's what rude people do. But hey, we're gonna go, gonna go out and see if we can get some bigger fish. I'm gonna switch it up to the longer pole. Got that one. There we go. There we go. Come on in here. That's what we're fishing for. That's a little better. All right, let's see how big this guy is. Remember, if it's hot, go ahead and wet your, your ruler. That way you don't have to fish. 12 inch, or we're gonna put him in the live well for a little bit. Wind's kind of died down, and I got a little shade for a minute. Oh, hey, that's a decent one. That's a really decent one. Come on up here, big guy. I was just about to get some water, and you decided to come hang out with me for a little while. I bet you're big enough to keep. I want to put you down for a minute. Look at that guy. Another white crappie. 11 inches right here. Throw him in here with his buddy. Oh. Probably should turn that on timer now. All right guys, so I hope you guys learned a little bit about using your fishing electronics to find brush piles, trees, and other cover that these crappie like to hang out in. I caught a couple that were of decent size. Caught a bunch, bunch of little guys. But nevertheless, I found these crappie. If I kept fishing, I probably could catch a whole mess of them and uh, have a pretty good meal tonight. But I'm gonna let you guys go and hey, hopefully, you get to apply what you learned today and uh, catch some of these nice crappie that I got today. But you guys remember, just like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.